This is 7 and 4 News Today. Taking a live look over the Mackinac Bridge this morning. Yes. Not much going on outside, uh, but the topic of conversation here in the studio this morning is it's a chilly start to the day. 53 degrees up at the Straits, yeah. and uh, Mark's saying it's going to feel kind of like fall today. Oof. Well, I think so, because some of the highs won't get out of the 60s. Mm. And so, okay. you know, a little bit cooler than yesterday. Yesterday we saw 70s, and two days ago we saw 80s. So we're just a little bit cooler. Nothing on the radar right now. And skies are mostly clear. Don't see any issues this morning with fog. We had a lot of that yesterday. And if you're looking for rain, it's well, it's kind of a dry forecast. Just a few stray showers possible before we get to Monday. Monday, that's when we have the good chance of rain. Temperatures right now, it's 68 in Detroit, 66 in Chicago, low 60s out of Minneapolis. We have 50s and some 40s, and it's dropped into the 40s at Manistee, Newberry, Gaylor, Bel Air. 43 right now in the Grayling area, 46 at Cadillac. Hour by hour, you can see how sunny it's going to be and how cool it's going to be because the average temperature at 9 o'clock is going to be 61, which is not bad, but take a look at uh, middle of the afternoon. 69 will be the average temperature at 2, and 70 is not bad either, but... You know, that means these are averages, which means the temperatures are at 3 o'clock and are running from about 65 to 75 degrees. So nice day, good day to get out. We'll talk about this chance for a stray shower on the Huron side of the map in a few minutes. All right, thank you, Mark. One person is dead, three others injured in an overnight shooting in South Carolina. It happened at about 2.30 this morning at a bar in Columbia. Right now, police are searching for the suspect who ran from the scene. Of course, we'll continue to follow this developing story and bring you updates throughout the morning as those updates become available. We have also been following breaking news closer to home. After being missing for more than uh, 36 hours, a Wexford County woman was found alive last night. 83-year-old Patricia Stark was found by a Michigan police search and rescue dog team around 9 o'clock last night. 7 and 4's Rachel Schuett was on the scene. Patricia Stark was taken here to Munson Cadillac Hospital by ambulance after she was found. She was checked out by doctors after being away from her home for more than 24 hours. State police tell me she was responsive when she was found and that they didn't notice any serious injuries. Patricia was found in high grass behind a home that was less than a mile away from her own home in Clam Lake Township in Wexford County. They're not sure how long she was in the spot she was found in. State police along with canine dogs from the Michigan Search and Rescue Volunteer Group Group and neighbors spent the last day and a half searching for her. They began searching yesterday morning after Stark reportedly walked away from her home. I caught up with her family after she was found. Just heart wrenching joy. <laughs> we can't believe it. And it's just a huge relief to know that she's found and she's okay. It's always good to have closure for these situations, um, especially for the family, but yeah, again, for all the first responders and volunteers that. Uh, helped out at this scene. It's uh, it's good for them too. Patricia's family also told me they're very grateful to all of the searchers and canine dogs who came out to look for her. State police say they don't know how long she was in the spot she was found in. Patricia's family has also been at the hospital with her and the Michigan Search and Rescue Group says they are extremely relieved with the outcome and grateful they were able to help. Reporting in Wexford County, Rachel Schuett, 7 and 4 News. Great news. State police searched about a 12 mile radius over the last day and a half trying to find Patricia Stark. Two suspects from the Detroit area have been charged for their role in a credit card fraud ring in Grand Traverse County. DeAndre Hailman and Kafra Chappelle were in court yesterday afternoon. Chappelle is charged with conducting criminal enterprise and fourth time habitual offender. He's accused of identity theft and having more than 15 stolen credit cards. Hailman is charged with conducting a criminal enterprise and lying to police. Both will be back in court September 10th. A well-known leader of the Antrim County community has passed away. Ronald Davis Jr. passed away at 65 years old Monday after battling cancer for the past five years. He was a track coach at Mancelona for 15 years, and he coached cross-country there for 14. There will be a visitation this Friday evening from 4 to 7 o'clock. It will be at the Mancelona Chapel of Mortensen Funeral Homes. And a funeral service will be held Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. In lieu of flowers, the family is asking for donations to the Mancelona track and cross-country programs. 
604 now. Washington Governor Jay Inslee is dropping out of the 2020 presidential race. Inslee made the announcement last night on MSNBC's The Rachel Maddow Show. He had centered his campaign around climate change, but did not meet polling requirements to participate in CNN's upcoming town hall on the issue. Additionally, Inslee had yet to reach 2% in four qualifying polls. Inslee is the third major candidate to exit the race. Just over five months after the FAA grounded the Boeing 737 MAX, airlines around the world are now scrambling to find replacement planes. Those replacement planes are often leased from other airlines or charter aviation companies. Airlines looking to cover their schedules are pushing up short-term leasing rates, especially for older Boeing 737s. Often airlines will lease the plane to fly it or they'll even pay another airline to fly their routes. Officials say passengers probably won't notice a change and the flight experience should not change dramatically either. Happening today, President Trump is awarding former Boston Celtics point guard Bob Cousy the Medal of Freedom today. The Medal of Freedom is the highest honor that can be given to any civilian. 91-year-old Cousy played most of his Hall of Fame NBA career with the Celtics. He also went to 13 straight All-Star games and won six championships. Also happening today, Representative John Molinar will honor two veterans with military service awards in Cadillac. Representative Molinar will honor the late Bob Ellison, a World War II veteran, and Dwayne Briggs, a Vietnam War veteran. The ceremony will be uh, serving veterans, will be at Veterans Park in Cadillac. It all begins at 10 o'clock this morning. The Chippewa County Family Project will break ground on its new teen foster home today. The home will provide residents for up to 12 teens and temporary housing for siblings in need of foster care services. Now the public is invited to the groundbreaking, which will take place at the foster home site on Three Mile Road in Sault Ste. Marie. The site is just east of the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services building. The ceremony starts this afternoon at 4. Hold on one second. Good morning, Northern Michigan parents. If you're sad because your kid is going off to college, I'm hoping to make things a little bit brighter with some awesome deals at Best Buy for those back-to-school electronics. Stay with us. I'll fill you in after the break. Travel forecast includes some really mild conditions for travelers for today, tonight, or the next several days. Not a lot of rain. Maybe a stray shower in our part of the state today or tonight. But I don't see a lot of rain for us until early next week. And see how mild the temperatures will be in the morning and relatively warm in the afternoon. I think this afternoon and tomorrow too, some of the highs for our part of the state will get out of the 60s. There's nothing on the radar right now. There is a small craft advisor on Huron, but that'll end at 8 o'clock. Nationwide, some fire danger out west and uh, a lot of rain right in the middle part of the country today. But don't see the reasons why this would slow down air travel. We have a mostly clear sky. Yesterday morning we had fog. I don't see any issues with fog this morning. And I don't see any delays at the major airports from coast to coast. More about our forecast in a few minutes. Watch 7 and 4 News live on our new local channel, Stir Traverse City. Plus a wide variety of videos on demand, including movies, TV shows, and of course, 7 and 4 News. Download the Stir app and type in Traverse City. Available on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV. Stir is owned by a subsidiary of Sinclair Broadcast Group, the parent company of this station.